Hi, I'm Skip Bedell. Welcome to the Duma Wall Tub Surround Installation video. And today we're talking about installing Duma Wall tiles. Now these tiles are waterproof, mold and mildew resistant, and they have a super easy DIY installation with their interlocking system that requires no mortar and no grout. Now the best part about these tiles is that they can be installed over drywall, cement board, or even your existing tub tiles. Now before we get started with our installation, let's talk about some of the tools that you'll need to get the job done right. During the installation process, the Duma wall tiles may need to be cut and fit. And you can easily cut the tiles with a jigsaw, a miter saw, a table saw, or a circular saw. And of course, if you're using any of these power tools, you want to make sure to have on proper eye protection. Now, if you don't have the power tools, you can easily cut the Duma wall tiles by using a utility knife to score and snap. You'll also need a caulk gun to apply the adhesive and sealant. You'll need a level, a square, a measuring tape, pencil, and drill and hole saw to make holes and cuts around plumbing fixtures. So I'm here inside of a tub surround, and even though it doesn't look like a typical tub surround, we have a tub on a raised platform and the three walls that make the tub enclosure. Now the beauty of the Duma wall tiles is that they're so versatile and that we can adhere them over many different substrates. And as you can see on these walls, there's still some residual glue from the old wood paneling after it was removed from the wall. Now, like any other substrate that we're going to glue the Duma wall panels to, it's important that the walls are smooth, dry, clean, and dust free. So before we can get started, we had to give the glue a light scraping and a little bit of sanding and wipe them down. But now we have nice, smooth, flat walls and we're ready to start laying out and gluing our Duma wall tiles. Like in any installation, you want to make sure when you get started that you have plumb walls and level surfaces to tile on. Check for level. If anything is not level, you may need to trim the first course of tiles to compensate for that. So now that we've checked for level and the plumb, let's talk about the corners. Starting off in this installation, you can install the tiles into the corners with a trim or without a trim. Now they make an inside and outside corner available for installation. If you choose to use them, you'll want to install them firmly to the wall by applying the Loctite Power Grab adhesive to the back of the trim and then firmly pressing to the wall. Duma Wall makes inside and outside corner trims as well as J and L trims that can terminate the edge of the Duma Wall tile during your installation. So before we can get started adhering any tiles onto the wall, we have to first decide what type of layout that we want to work with. There's a couple different options. We can adhere these tiles in a vertical orientation or in horizontal. We can do stacked one directly over the other, or we can stagger the joints like a subway or brick design. So for this particular installation, I've decided to do a horizontal layout and stacked one over the other. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find the center of our wall, which you see I've done that here, I've marked it. I've also marked the level line that I can work off of. So now that I have a center of the opening on the wall that I'm working with, I'm going to mark the center of my tile and I'm going to put that right on that mark. So this is the one tile centered right in the middle of the wall. Now we can go ahead and measure on either side, should be two equal distances and we'll have a cut tile on this side and a cut tile on this side we can go ahead and get ready to glue that. But before we do, it's important also that we trim the flange off. There's a flange all the way around these tiles that make a tongue and groove waterproof seal. So for the first course of tiles, it's critical that this course is level because that's what we're gonna stack all the rest of ours on top of. So we have to have that level and we'll wanna go ahead by starting to trim off that flange so our tile sits flush right down on top of the deck. You may need to trim the first course of the bottom Duma wall tiles in order to get that level top line. Now that I've got all the cuts done, I went ahead and dry fit this first before applying any adhesive. I can see that everything fits right, it looks good. We can take this apart now and get ready to glue it on the wall. Before starting, make sure all surfaces are clean, dry, smooth, and free from dust, grease, wax, etc. Clean the back surface of the panels by wiping with a clean cloth. Now we're ready to start applying the adhesive to the back of our Duma wall tiles. The manufacturer recommends Loctite Power Grab Ultimate as the adhesive to use to bond these firmly to the wall. Okay, so we want to use about a quarter inch bead and go about a half inch from the perimeter of the tile all the way around the tile. Then go back and fill in the middle with an M pattern. Now that I've got the glue applied to the back of my tile, I'm going to set it in place. So the first one we're going to work right into our corner. Remember we have the bottom flange trimmed off and the side flange. So this should fit right into our inside corner track. Now 
maintaining our level line on the top. Press firmly with even pressure all across the tile to adhere it to the wall. So now that I have my first tile glued firmly in place, before I continue on to the next, we want to apply a sealer. So the manufacturer recommends DAP Quick Seal Ultra, and this is basically a silicone sealant that we can apply on all the tongue groove joints. So on the inside joint and along the top before we start our next course. So I'll go ahead and apply the sealant to the tongue and groove seam. And now we're ready to install our second tile that has glue on the back of it. So we'll put it in place. We'll get our joint locked in in the back. And firmly press to the wall. Now it's important that these corners and these seams are all lining up and even. Because once we get that first level line on our first course on the bottom, we're going to be level all the way up the wall. So as you can see, we have a nice tight fit. And with the sealer and the tongue and groove joint give us a waterproof seal. So we can go ahead and take a wet cloth and wipe off any excess sealer that might have come out of the joint. And now we're ready to install our next tile. So now I have the first course of tile installed and as we said it's important that it's level down to the deck. We can see we have a level line. The middle tile is centered on the wall and two even cuts on either side. Now the process is repeated all the way up the wall. It's important that each one of these tongue and groove joints we apply a sealer That'll help us make a nice watertight seal and seam on every joint all the way up the wall. So I'll go ahead and seal this top line. Now that I've got the sealer applied to the top of the first course, and we've got glue on the first tile of the second course, I can go ahead and get this started. So we're going to slide this right into our track. Inside corner. And work it down into the tongue and groove joint. And you can see our corners and seam match up nice and tight, giving us a waterproof seal. It's important that all these corners and seams line up and that'll keep us level going all the way up the wall. So as you see, we have some plumbing on this wall that we're gonna to need to cut around. The easiest way to do that is to measure off the wall to find the center of each mark, which I've marked here on the wall, and also measure up the height to the center of each hole, which I've also marked here. We transferred those measurements onto our tile. And you can see I've made the center marks for each one of these holes. I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling. So for this first hole, I'm gonna use an inch and a quarter drill bit, and that'll be for this faucet pipe. You see I've marked the intersection where we're gonna drill, and we'll go ahead and start the hole. And always be sure to use eye protection when using any power tools. Okay, there's our first hole. As you can see, I've also marked the hole for the control valve. So for this one, I'm gonna start it off with a drill bit and then cut it out with a jigsaw. I can start my hole with a drill bit that'll allow me to get the jigsaw blade inside. Now that I've got the hole, I can go ahead and cut the rest out with my jigsaw. I've marked the level line, made the holes. We cut the flange off this first course on the next wall and I've dry fit it. Everything fits good. We're ready to apply the glue and start gluing it on the wall and repeat the process of the back wall all the way up. There you have it, a complete Duma wall tub surround installation.